The knuckleballer made himself a household name by helping the Sox to overcome the curse with a pair of World Series wins. Fans loved him, his teammates adored him, but it's his work outside of the ballpark that helped him win the hearts of families all across New England. WBZ's Louisa Moeller introduces us to one of those families tonight. He actually had uh, leukemia. Sorry. I get a little emotional when I talk about it. But, uh, Mark Cashel so can't help but get choked yeah, up yeah. when he thinks about his smiling little girl and the years she spent battling childhood cancer. He was very sincere. You know, and very, very nice. And he cared a lot, wanted to know what, was, what she was diagnosed with, how she was doing. And, you know, wished us the best. But there were bright spots too, like this photo of Red Sox pitcher Tim Wakefield, his arms around a playful three-year-old Ashley and her older sister. Honestly, I think it's one of the best pictures of me. It captures that stage of my life very well because I was very mischievous. Now families like the Cashels are thinking fondly of these moments, the brief time they spent with number 49 on Sunday. The 17 year Red Sox pitcher and two time World Series champ lost his private battle with brain cancer. He was 57 years old. If you looked on Facebook today, you'd see they all have pictures. They were either warriors, went down for spring training. Because for all the moments on the mound, Wakefield made a larger impression off. Red Sox Nation, join me and step up to the plate to fight cancer. In his charity work for Dana Farber. In the Wakefield Warriors program, which allowed patients from Franciscan Hospital for Children and the Jimmy Fund to visit him and watch batting practice. In one instance, Dana Farber Director of Patients, Lisa Sherber, remembers Wakefield helping a teen named Robbie, who had just lost his leg. Robbie was at the back row. I don't know how he ended up in the back row, but he kind of stood up and he started hopping down the grandstand stairs. That's when Wake stepped in. He ran up the stairs and he put Robbie on his back and he carried him down to the front row where he wanted to be. It's the kind of selflessness the Cashel family hopes they can give back. He cared for us, we cared for him and you know, wish we could have fought more for him. Now, I am sad that I won't be able to thank him in person, but I'm glad that he did what he did. Wakefield leaves behind his wife, Stacy, and two kids. Outside Fenway Park, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Very good player, even better person.